Hey, 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 hello. Uh, uh. Hmm. Hey, it's me. Today, I am here to cure your boredom. If, if you have it. I got you. I think I've been bored like twice in my entire life. What is boredom? How can you be bored when there's so, so many, many things, things to paint? paint? Everything needs to be painted. But that's not normal. I realize that. People get bored. I'm here to help you. Ooh, this shirt is very bright on camera. Wow. Looking like the chicken family. I have created a list here for the first time ever. I'm using this clipboard. Pretty stoked about that. <sighs> I do have a series of videos, five minute crafts to do when you're bored, but today we're doing all fresh ideas. These are not limited to five minutes either. This stuff could keep you busy for weeks if you do it right. All right, so no distractions. <coughs> I need some water, please. Water. I'm gonna go get some water real quick. <sighs> okay, let's get into this. Number one, redo an old art piece. First step of this one, locate some crappy artwork. This shouldn't be too hard. I'm gonna go in the depths of my artwork. I brought you to my bedroom closet where my shirts are organized in rainbow order. This is where we need to focus. This is where we're gonna find it. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Mm. I have here a box of my very old artwork. Ooh. I filled out most of these when I was like 11. What the heck is this? Oh no. Oh boy. Half of this isn't even art. It's just weird, weird stuff. The circus is now illegal. Saying vague is now illegal. Pouring your heart out is now illegal. Time is now illegal. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, I wrote my dad's credit card number. Okay, that's smart. <laughs> okay, so here we get to the drawing. It appears that I was practicing my drawing. Oh, it's bad. Bad! Oh, this is perfect. This is the one I found him. It's a very derpy looking bunny. Oh, I love it. Let's redraw that. I don't think I'm gonna have to work too hard to improve this. I redid my bunny. I have evolved slightly in the last 14 years, so that's good. Cool! I drew it at a really weird angle. Honestly, anything is better than what it was before. But yeah, that was fun. If you kept notebooks like this when you were young, then you probably have a lot of stuff that you could redo. Oh my gosh. Wilbur. Wilbur, ugly! What's next? Number two, finish something that you've started and not finished. That's why you're finishing it. Uh -huh. So are you the type that does this, like starts a project and then just never gets around to finishing it or loses steam halfway through? Well, now's the time. I do have one bin of squishies that I haven't finished. Let me show you. Here it is. We have a couple from like failed kits. I did this one off camera a long time ago. It looks pretty finished to me though. It's kind of cute. Mm, I think I never finished this one because I don't like how it was going. I still don't really like it. Oh, I remember this one. This was gonna be a squishy in my Christmas squishy makeovers. I ran out of time to finish it. Didn't even use the footage from it. Oh, a cute little lollipop. This one looks mostly finished. A tiny little hamburger. I remember starting this probably three years ago before I did the squishy makeover series and I kind of gave up because I felt like it was a lost cause. Ho, 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 ho. I had no idea what I would end up doing in the future. I will finish this one.
Next, reorganize your art or craft supplies. This is completely normal for me. So, I don't know about you, but I just love having things organized. I'm obsessed with organization. I love when things are neat. So in order to demonstrate this, I need to find somewhere that's not organized. <gasps> find was my junk drawer. I always start by clearing everything out, vacuuming out the crevices, little crumbs and blah, blah, blah. And then I just put everything back in order, separating things into different spaces so that they stay that way. This drawer I access every single day. So this is really the only place that gets super disorganized. <laughs> much better. I feel that. Moving along, read or look through an art or craft book. <laughs> Moving along, try drawing something you're really bad at at drawing. You shouldn't end a sentence with a preposition. These bad ideas. The idea here is that maybe if you try something you're bad at, you'll stretch learn yourself. You gotta make yourself uncomfortable. And learn and, blah, and grow. Blah, blah, blah. When I try to think of the thing that I would be the most afraid of drawing, I think of a realistic self-portrait. Oh, I don't know if I can bring myself to do that on camera. <laughs> oh. I'm not excited at all about this. So I am going to take a picture of myself. Oh, I hate it. So let me try to draw myself. Is my face really shaped like that? You know, you're funky looking. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. No, I hate this. <laughs> I hate this. 30 minutes later and I have a very scary drawing in front of me. This is terrible drawing right here. Fortunately, it doesn't look anything like me. I don't think. This is hideous. I don't really wanna dedicate the time for realism either. So this isn't really realism. It's just kind of trash. <laughs> no more of that. Go away. Let's just forget that that happened. No. <laughs> Look, I struggled. I didn't spend enough time on it, to be honest. To do something like that, you gotta spend hours, not 30 minutes. But am I glad that I got that experience and that I got that practice and that I got to do that? No, no. I wish I could have that 30 minutes back. I could actually do something fun. out a never used supply or a rarely used supply. If you're like me and you're a little bit of a hoarder, just a little bit, a little bit, little. You probably have an art or craft supply laying around that you just haven't tried, whether it's a gift or an impulse purchase. It's time to, to try them out. Aye aye, let's go find one. these fabric markers that I have yet to try out. <sighs> Can you see that? They smell really good. Smell really good. Smell really, smell really, smell really good. Oh, I need something to draw on. Pouch. This sounds right. I don't know, what am I gonna draw? I kinda don't feel like thinking of something outside of the box right now. I'm very much in the box. Let's try something simple since I've never used them before. Maybe on a different type of fabric these would work better, but the colors are just bleeding like crazy and getting super muddy. And they bleed blood. 
blood. Yeah, so I guess you have to let each color dry before doing anything else. I don't have the patience for this right now. Not really a fan of the marker on fabric look. I don't think that it's a bad product. The colors are pretty bright and vibrant. Why use a marker when you can use paint? Well, I learned something today. I'll add this to the pile of stuff that I have to fix at some point. Next, watch my videos. Hey, it's me. I bought a couple different shapes of paint palettes, so I have plenty to work on. My ultimate goal <laughs> is to cover my wall. <clears throat> Next, this one has cured boredom for me for the last six months. Paint something, anything. Some examples, squishies, water bottles, mugs, phone cases, this bag, this bag, this bag, jacket, shoes, fake flowers, thrift store junk, rocks, shells, storage bins, or just like paper. <laughs> Moving on, do create this book or create this book too. If you don't know what that is, it's a set of books that I actually wrote and illustrated and published. Um, okay, I'm gonna stop with the voice. I made the books myself and they are available to purchase on Amazon if you're interested, but basically they're just prompt books. So if you like to draw or do any type of art really, then they just give you different ideas on every page. I like prompts a lot because I have so many ideas sometimes that I get overwhelmed and it's hard to choose one. So prompts really help me to like center myself, narrow my focus. You know, am I making any sense? I have a whole series of videos on these books that you can watch. I know it's been a while since I've done a new episode, but a new one is coming very soon. Hint, hint, wink, wink, hint, hint, wink, hint, wink, hint, wink, hint, wink, hint, wink, hint, wink. Next, bedazzle something. I don't actually have a bedazzler, but, 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 I have gems. So I'm going to just bedazzle something by hand and that will be time consuming. I don't even know why I have these. They have a peelable backing with a little adhesive on it. Basically stickers so you can just stick them. So what should I bedazzle? No. I think I need a bedazzled paint palette. Let's go. Okay, it's done. It's completely covered. I ran out of gems. If this isn't classy, then I don't know what is. It's so ugly. I love it. It's kind of satisfying. Um, oh my gosh. I did it again. Why? Why me? Why me? No, 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 no. I am ashamed. So I keep decorating these paint palettes, right? And I keep on forgetting that there's this stupid clear piece of plastic over the paint palette that's invisible. And I keep on forgetting to remove it and then this happens. It's a royal bib. But you know what? This actually might be for the best because I can now reuse these gems like that. I think probably the smaller the gems, the better it looks. So of course I went for the biggest gems possible. Anyway, you get the idea. Well, it's been fun. I actually did have several other ideas, but I don't think we're gonna get to all of them today. Um, I've been filming all day long and this is gonna be a lot of editing. So I'm gonna call it a day now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it's helped you in some way to cure your boredom. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>